And the massive cleanup effort in Puerto Rico comes on the same day that Hurricane Maria struck that island five years ago. And tonight, people in the U.S. territory are coming here to Massachusetts, hoping to find a safe place to stay. WBZ's Julia McDonald was one of the first people they saw when they got off the plane at Logan Airport. Julie? Yeah, David, those flights from San Juan landed here at Logan tonight. Passengers stood waiting for their bags. They were hungry, stressed, exhausted. Many of them haven't slept in days. They described for me the panic that they left behind. Long lines and crowds desperate for the most basic necessities. Travelers arriving to Logan Airport Tuesday night carried luggage in their hands and heartbreaking images in their minds of the Puerto Rico they left behind. That was awful, honestly. Post pandemic and parts still recovering from Maria, Fiona feels frighteningly similar to that deadly hurricane five years ago. In some regions, the water damage right now is as bad or even worse. This traveler arriving in Boston with her elderly mother said she feared they'd drown as the floodwaters continued to rise. We stayed in one room, like in a little corner that it was safe. That's where we were, like for like a whole night with no light and nothing because the place was so dark. Safe in Boston, these travelers now torn between feelings of relief and regret. The home they returned to won't be the same. We wanted to come. We didn't want to stay there. And that's really sad, you know, that that's your place that you're born. As relief agencies and essential supplies make their way to the sites suffering most, Puerto Ricans pray that support never ceases. I trust in my people and I trust in God and, uh, and the help of the United States. The situation is critical right now. And WBZ has been in close contact with our local chapter of the Salvation Army as we learn more about the greatest need and changing conditions there. We know that the fastest and most focused way to help Puerto Rico is by donating money to relief organizations like the Salvation Army and Red Cross. Live from Logan Airport tonight, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. All right, Julie, thank you.